Hey guys, Casey Ferris here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe for more of that. Today we are talking about how to save an intro for your video in Resolve so that you can reuse it, you can put it in other projects and all of that kind of stuff. I'll give you a couple tips on this. So here we have a tasteful intro. Ooh, complete with subtitle. That's what I'm talking about, all right? This might not be your style. If you think it sucks, well, why don't you just make something different, okay? All right, if you think it rocks, well, thanks. It's nice of you. Here's the thing, I have a fusion composition. We have our animated shiny text here, a little bit of clouds in the background. We have a sound effect. I'll turn off the sound so you can actually hear me talk and stuff. And then we have a little subtitle here, which is just a text layer over our fusion composition. So it's easier for us to change it later. So if we want to save this and use this in, let's say a series of videos, maybe this is your intro for every YouTube video you make. There's a few different ways to do that. There isn't something that's just like built for this. As far as I know in Resolve, there isn't like a template thing at least not one that includes sound and multiple layers and all that stuff. You can save a fusion title, but it has limitations because you can't actually put a texture or any kind of media in a fusion title. So if you want something with some audio or with a photo or anything like that, you kind of have to build it here in the timeline. Once you do, there's a couple different options. Uh, the first thing that you might want to do, if this is going to be exactly the same every time, you can just select everything, right click and say new compound clip. And then what that'll do is just kind of make this into its own little timeline and you won't really have to deal with all the multiple layers and stuff. You can kind of just treat this as one piece of media, one clip. That'll also live in your timeline here and you can reuse it by dragging it down, that kind of thing. So that's a pretty slick way to do it. And whether you want to do it like that or not, you can do this next step here. What I like to do if I'm going to kind of make a template for multiple different videos is generally you'll have the stuff that you reuse like this intro, and then you'll have the stuff that switches out like your footage, right? And maybe you'll have an outro, let's say. What I like to do is after I'm done with my first episode, let's say, I'll go up to file and save project as, and I'll call this tasteful video and hit save. All right, so once this is saved as a new project, that means if I mess anything up on this, my original work is still fine. So what I like to do is, let's say, just for the sake of things that we have an outro out here. What I like to do is just select all of the media that's not going to be in every episode, you know, whatever the camera files or whatever the content is, select those and hit delete. And now I have the intro and the outro here on one timeline and I'll just move them a little bit closer together like this. And you can do what you can to make this a little bit easier. Again, if you have an intro that just cuts directly to your stuff like this, you could select all of it, right click and say new compound clip and we'll just call this intro. And then let's say you have something similar for the outro. You could do the same thing. New compound clip, outro. Now you have your intro and your outro here in the timeline, and they also live up here in the media pool. So you could right click over here in the left hand side and say new bin, and we'll call this template. And we could drag this intro and outro over here into the template and anything else that we want to add to the template. Let's say this original fusion comp, this sound, anything that's kind of included in this little timeline that looks good. And now we can get rid of stuff we're not really using. Just select all of that and hit delete on the keyboard. And we'll keep our timeline because we have these laid out. And a lot of the time I'll keep this timeline because I'll have a filter on the audio or something. And I'd like to keep that similar throughout stuff like that. But basically make something like this. And now you have a little template to work from. Now you could just open this up and then save it as each time. But I think a smarter way to do this is if we save and then go to the lower right hand corner and open up our project manager. And that'll come up with this project as well as anything else that you've worked on recently. And what we can do is right click on this and say export project archive. And you can put this anywhere you want. I like to put this where all the other media and everything is going for this kind of series that I'm doing. And it's going to save something called a .dra, a DaVinci Resolve archive. Hit save and I'll unclick render cache and optimize media and hit OK. What that's doing is saving this project with all of the media and everything all included in one little folder. The great thing about that is that you can take this project, I guess as long as you have the fonts, it doesn't include the fonts, but it includes the media and all that stuff. You can take this project and put it on another PC, move it to your laptop or whatever, and open it up and have everything that you need for your template. Let's take a look at how to do that. 
let's say we have a different project open just so it's easier for you to see what actually happens here. So you could have a different project open or start resolve and then right click anywhere here in the project manager. Again, that's the menu that comes up when you hit this little home, right click and say restore project archive. You're gonna wanna click import project. You're gonna be like, man, if I wanna bring a project in here, I wanna import it. Don't do that. Restore project archive. Then you find your DRA wherever you made that and hit open. And now it will bring up your template here. And the cool thing is you can right click and rename this something episode one. And let's say you open this, work on it, mess everything up, right? The good thing is because we're not actually working on the project, we're kind of making a copy when we restore a project archive. We can just right click, say restore project archive and boom, open our DRA. There's our template again. We can open this up and here's our intro, all the stuff that we want to have in all of our videos. Pretty slick, right? So even though there isn't like an official way to, you know, have a template or whatever, I think that's a pretty good workflow. So I hope this has helped. If you want to learn more of the basics of Resolve, check out this video. I think it's great. I think it's the bee's knees, as the kids would say. And you might think it is too. You might even think it's like the hornet's knees or like a blue mud dauber. Dude, uh, there's these huge hornets outside of my house and they're blue. It's weird, man. Anyway.